Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be short and sweet. So I wanted to do a fun video and uh, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to watch some jokes. These jokes are called dad jokes and um, I'll put up a definition on the screen here uh, of what a dad joke is. They're funny, lighthearted jokes and um, what I've done is I've got my friend to send me five dad jokes and I haven't seen these jokes before so you're going to see my genuine reaction to these jokes as we're filming. I actually filmed another video on jokes. I'll put a picture of the video here and I'm going to link it in the description. This video went over English jokes and I explained what each joke meant. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out that one as well. So as I said, I'm going to show you guys five jokes. And don't worry if you don't understand the joke in the end, I'm going to explain it to you. And this is going to test your English fluency. Understanding humor is an essential part of language learning. And if you're able to understand a joke in a language, that means you're pretty fluent in that language. So let's test it out. Let's see how you do. Let's watch the first joke. Hey guys, Pops here with another dad joke. Two cannibals are eating a clown. One cannibal says to the other, does this taste funny? <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> I don't really like when someone actually laughs for you because I feel like they're trying to encourage you to laugh. I like someone who's very stoic and um, deadpan and then if I find the joke funny, I'll laugh. But um, yeah, okay, so did you understand the joke? The joke is that um, Cannibals are people who eat other human beings. So two cannibals are together and they eat a clown. A clown is a person dressed up in a costume. I'll put a picture of a clown here. And the cannibals say to each other, um, does this taste funny? And I guess that's a joke because clowns are supposed to be funny. Another component of this joke involves the expression, does this taste funny? So if someone says, does this taste funny in English, it can mean, does this taste off or does it taste wrong in some way? So if you get some food from the fridge and then you eat it and it tastes kind of weird or it tastes maybe old or it like it went bad, you might say to someone, does this taste funny to you? Does it taste bad or not delicious in some way? It tastes funny. It tastes funny. It tastes funny. It tastes funny. No, it tastes funny. So that was the punchline of the first joke. So this first one is a joke because the punchline, does this taste funny, works on two levels. It works in a literal sense because a clown is a funny character. So does it taste funny means, does it taste funny like a clown? And then it also works on another level, this deeper meaning, which is this English expression, does it taste funny? Does it taste wrong to you in some way? Let's keep going. Now I'm going to go ahead and watch the second joke. Hey guys, Pops here with another dad joke. What do you call a hippie's wife? Mrs. Hippie. <laughs> <laughs> The ending of that clip the funniest um the dad was coughing quite a bit because he was laughing so hard at his own joke <laughs> which is i guess a dad joke kind of thing anyways did you guys understand the joke you may not be able to understand this joke unless you know about the united states of america so in this joke he asks what do you call the wife of a hippie and he answers by saying, Mississippi. So it operates on two levels. Mrs. means a married woman. So the wife of someone would be a Mrs. And Mississippi is also the name of a state in the US. So on one level, it means Mrs. Hippie. And it also refers to Mississippi, the name of a state. Pretty okay joke. <laughs> Let's watch the third one. Okay, I'm going to watch the third joke now. 
<laughs> hey guys, Pops here with another dad joke. What do you call a bear with no ears? Buh. <laughs> okay, so I like this type of joke because I love words, I love language, and so thinking about this one, it involves you to kind of visualize the word. So I like these kinds of jokes that, um, that ask you to think about things in terms of words rather than uh, the thing being represented. So in this joke, uh, he asks, what do you call a bear without ears? So you're, you think about the animal, the bear, and you think about the, the body part, ears. So a bear without ears. But actually, we're not supposed to think about the, the, the thing that the word represents. We're supposed to think about the word itself. So if we spell the word bear, the name of an animal, it's B-E-A-R. And if we get rid of ear or ears, we're left with just one letter, B. So that's the joke. A bear without an ear is a B. Pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and watch the fourth joke now. Hey guys, Pops here with another dad joke. I went to the doctor the other day and he told me I was going deaf. That news was hard for me to hear. <laughs> <laughs> I think so far, this is the most dad joke, like dad joke of the whole collection. I feel like a dad would totally say this. So this one is good. Did you guys understand the joke? Okay, so the doctor tells him that he is going deaf. And he responds and says that that news was hard for him to hear. Do you understand the joke? So just like the first joke, which was um, centered on the expression, does this taste funny to you? This joke also involves an English expression. So if something is hard for you to hear, it, we usually think about that in the deeper sense of something being difficult to hear or uh, challenging to hear. So if you find out that um, your best friend did something very, very bad and your other friend tells you about that, you could say that that news is hard to hear. It's difficult or um, it creates some sort of emotional disturbance to hear that. So in this joke, the expression, it was hard for me to hear that news. It's funny because this expression operates on two levels, the literal and then the deeper meaning. The literal meaning is that if you are deaf, if you can't hear anything, everything would be hard for you to hear. And the deeper meaning would be uh, to, to find out that you are going to go deaf can be very upsetting and very emotionally disturbing. So in a deeper sense, it is hard to hear. That one was a pretty good joke. Let's keep going. Now I'm going to go ahead and watch the fifth clip. Hey guys, Pops here with another dad joke. What generation does Forrest Gump belong to? Gen A. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. Okay. I like this one because I love the movie Forrest Gump. And also I think it's always funny when older people talk about these different uh, Gen A, Gen, or Gen X, Gen Z. I don't even know what all those mean. Um, so it's funny when an older person talks about them. Anyways, did you guys understand the joke? What generation does Forrest Gump belong to? Gen A. So you have to have watched the movie Forrest Gump to understand this joke. For those of you who have seen the movie, you'll remember that Jenny or Jen A, as Forrest Gump says with his accent or um, style of speaking, uh, Jenny is the love interest in the movie. So um, there, there are these names for generations. So there's Gen X. I'm actually going to do a little research and I'll put them on the screen here and then define what these things mean. So there's all these different names for people uh, born in certain decades. And I'll put the information on the screen here after I've done my research. Um, but this joke is introducing a new generation or a new gen and it is gen a so it works this joke works on two levels gen 
means generation, and then you put a letter afterwards. So gen A, gen X, gen B, whatever. And then it this joke operates on another level because the character in the movie is named Jenny. And Forrest Gump is always saying, gen A, gen A. Maybe I'll put a video clip here also. So that was a good joke. Okay, you guys, that's it. This video, like I said, is short and sweet. I've just gone over five dad jokes. I have to give a little bit of a shout out to this creator here with the the, the YouTube handle, mm, Joe Mel, Mele, maybe? So these were really fun videos, really fun to watch. And I hope you guys uh, understood the jokes. And if you didn't understand the jokes, I hope you found my explanation useful. If you guys know any funny dad jokes or any jokes in general that you want to share, write the joke in the comment and then it'll be just fun to read through your comments and see what you guys find funny. The last thing I wanna say here is if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel and make sure you turn on alerts so that you can get notifications about my new content. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week.